inside Your God's granted me A vision of the way To change reality In the shadows creeping Can't rest your busy hands No time for you to sleep now Or evil it will spread Welcome back to Original GM. I am Hoopapu, once again joined by Chikala and Wachi, and I better put these on so I can hear myself. Welcome back, episode 21. What a what a killer episode last uh, week was. I had so much fun. Uh, yeah. Finally revealing things to you, and I know that you think that it all kind of ended, but it basically just started as we continue on in season two for the season finale, which is, you know, half a season away still. Plenty of time. You trapped a Nexus. What a great episode, you guys. I enjoyed it a great deal. Yes, it was, me um, too. It was really fucking cool, man. So, this week, we're going to start off a little different than we normally start off. We normally start off... Uh, this, this episode's title is a, a Whole New World, episode 21. We normally start off with just playing. But this episode, we're going to start off with what we call an addendum. We put it at the end of some of them. Mm -hmm. um, but this one will be at the beginning. Somewhere deep in space, in the vastness of space, there's a monk with glowing yellow eyes. sitting in a meditative position floating in space as if awaiting awaiting someone something and in the distance the sound comes to the monk's ears watcher and it echoes throughout space as the monk slowly opens his eyes and turns and looks to his right he sees this individual, a knight. Behind the knight, somewhat see-through, there are gears that move with what looks like watch or time ticks. Intermingled in that, you can see what look like lines of fate of different colors being intertwined with one another. When he turns and looks at him, he says, Guardian. And the individual floats in front of him. And the Guardian says, What news? What have you learned? 
the ancient gods want their report. The monk smiles and he says, things are in order. The world has been reconstructed by time itself and the sacrifice of Neo. The hand of the cat lord has seen fit to follow the council of gods, the ancient ones, and he has fixed that which he and his kind had unfixed. But there were sacrifices. All magic has changed within the world. It has been set back in time, so to say. Many of the gods are gone, having been lineage tied to the neo kind, who were all scattered by the millions throughout the crystalline sphere. The guardian's eyes kind of glow a little bit brighter, and he's like, the council will be happy to hear that it is so. And the child, does it live? You see the monk kind of look at him very slowly and he says, yes, he is imprisoned inside of three rods. He will forever plague this world, put back in his prison every nine years, answered by the blood and lineage of cat kind. The sacrifice has been accepted. The rest of the gods are freed those that survived. Continue your service. That is all. And you see the night just disappears in a purple smoke and is gone. And we will now start back in the Temple of Ariax. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a weird, I don't know how weird, just for clarification, um, we hadn't done an addendum in a while, we play it as kind of an echo mm -hmm. in your mind mm -hmm. type deal. Okay. And just, just. None of you know that. We haven't done that in a while, yeah. yeah. None of you know so that. I just wanted to say. Um. We don't yeah. actually have that information, but that your DM has such trust in your yeah, not role playing skills and and not metagaming. And, you know, like we've said in the past, if your character would do something, they would do it, but yeah, never metagame. It's not fun. It's not. It's not. All right. So we're in the temple now. Where we left off before, I'm placing everybody within the room that you can see currently. I will zoom in here. This is even Tessa's over here. Um, as you guys are all standing there and you greeted Eris when she came back and Vey and Eris are right there and kind of towards the center. As this is happening and, and Tuffy has dropped his gate, it's as if the gate itself reappears and then you see it kind of rainbow out in color and reflection from itself. You see the very air itself change colors. And you look at each other and as you're looking and air as you're being hugged, you people come to move from you and time is like whoa, 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 whoa. It's like a ripple in time and as you look around, things are happening and it's real slow for everyone. And then it comes back to normal. And then it does it again. As it starts doing it this time, you realize, Reva and Vail, you, you t the two of you realize that the first time they had come out, and there were four of him, like this comes to you, and that you were standing in front of that doorway when that happened. But you also remember the lights flickering and it happening. This time you remember the lights flickering, and then you left, like it didn't stop you. This time it flickers again and you and Rave are standing there looking at each other. You're back in that time where you were. Then you're in the room again in the Temple of Ariax, like kind of like, what the hell? And then it goes back again and you see Vey standing there like he was, the four of him, but it's only him. The other three are not there and he looks normal like he does in the Temple of Ariax, standing there like, what the fuck? 
Eris. Yeah. When this happens, you're in a timeless bubble in space next to a collapsing black hole behind you. Just just for an instant. And you look and you see the Cat Lord and you see Tarnak and you see the monk. You're like, and then you're back here again. This goes on four or five times in a row. <laughs> and as you can move a few times, Zira, Gordon, you guys are in the ship. You're, you're in the ship and then you come back to here. So everybody's doing things different. You look at Tatalda, she's got the two uh, babies and priests are moving her out of this room. And then she's back standing there and Lily, you're holding the two children. Again, you're like, <laughs> and so these things happen and then it all stops. And Tatalda is not here, okay? Mal is not here. Tessa's here. All these, everybody else is here. Um, what about the babies? Is you hear a out? cry from down the hall and you realize they've shuttled her out. And when you look down the hallway, you can see Mal going with them. So you realize that the time that you're in now is there's a gap between when this happened and where you are now. It's farther in the future right now, but it's only probably a minute or two at the most. And then the temple goes dead. All the lights go dead. You see priests kind of like go like this. Um, if you're an Ashen Guard anti-paladin, you feel your faith fall from, from you, just it's gone. Like you're disconnected, like your God is no longer there and you go to a fighter. Now you don't fall from faith because you didn't do anything. You stay at whatever level you are, but you're just a fighter. Magic users, your spells that are in memory are gone. <laughs> what the fuck? They're just gone. They're they're out of your head. Um, you see Gordon like, what the hell? Necromancer, your dark pact is as though it does not exist. Therefore, you have no access to those spells. And they're out of your memory and gone. There is no dark pact upon you. And no gifts or anything of that nature. Your sight goes back to orcish. <laughs> You're like... Oh. Um, Tuffy looks at the portal and then he kind of moves his hand and you see it close again behind you guys. And as it does, you see Reva and Velia coming through it in multiple images and they go, close, 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 close the gate. And, and it's like time is fucked up and then they disappear and you're back here again in this same spot. And all the magic is gone. The temple itself fires back up and you see lights come on, but you're not sure why that happened. Tessa kind of stumbles forward and you see Tuffy look with fear in his eyes after he closes the portal and he says, she's gone. Ariax is gone. Bay is like, yes, she's gone. You see him kind of stumble over to the side and puke. Veda's all over the floor, just. Eris would go up to him and just kind of put her hand on him. Alex does the same. Zira. Puke. What's your constitution? Zira? Yep. 18? Uh, yeah, you puke. <clears throat> Tessa doesn't. She holds it in, but you see she's struggling. Um, and then at about that moment, you see Dusty start to glow. And then you see time reverse. <laughs> puke goes back into the mouths of everybody, and it all reverses back to when we first started. 
and you look at Dusty and his eyes are glowing and he goes, I am the god of time. And he hits his staff down and disappears. <laughs> you hear some crying off in the distance. The portal sitting there open and Tuffy like goes like this and closes it like he realizes he's done this more than once. You guys have all these memories. He does that and it closes. Eris, you feel within yourself no Neo abilities whatsoever. You are not Neo, you are human. And you have these memories of everything that's, that's transpired with the Neo and you know that they have been cast out onto a parallel plane to the prime material, an existence that covers it some sort of some sort. That divided planes of existence before the Neo sacrificed themselves. So it's as if they were tiny little bits of magic that went in between planes and created a thin plane of its own. And it's right off the prime material plane. And you realize that there's another plane next to it. As you're thinking to yourself about the Neo that left you, that you threw off, you have distant memories from each of them, but this particular line of memory, you realize that there's an invisibility plane now. That if you go invisible, you actually go to a plane of existence that's parallel to the prime material. It completely severed itself in the center of that. It's not the ethereal. The ethereal still touches the prime as well, but there is an invisibility plane now that exists there. And you know that because of the connections with all these Neo. You also know that once they spread out, they had to go and, and source pieces of magic to survive. Because as it was being imprisoned, it was attempting to suck them in with it. And they were attempting to go away and have very little energy. So they had to connect to forms of magic all throughout the Prime Material Plane. Which in turn they absorbed to stay alive. And this is what's going through Eris' head. as, And it's like a, a, a memory you, you know you've had, but you just suddenly gain all this back at once. Okay. Um, and that each little piece um, of arcane energy is, is absorbed all the magic in the world. That it's all gone. Like spell books, spells. It's gone. In the whole world. Yeah, that, that the Neo, for them to survive... And you have this memory, and this is happening, and as this happens, Vey falls forward and pukes. And does the same thing he did last time. So does everybody else. Um, actually, you can roll to see if you don't. Tessa doesn't. No, she's good. Okay, she doesn't this time. She holds it. Um, yeah. Gordon pukes. Um, and Dusty's gone. He's not there anymore. You look over there, he's not there. And Alex kind of looks over you guys like, what the hell? Um, Zigzag goes, did you see that? We're caught in a time loop. <coughs> or we were. Tuffy says, we have no power other than the... The space jammer. That is it. It's gone everywhere. You guys, the magic is gone. What's that, Blast? It's gone. The magic everywhere. It's gone. Tuffy's like, I have no spells. The spell books, the magic items, they're gone. Me either. Lily, she says spell book. Oh. Uh, um. Do you, yeah, what? she'll unmorph the bag from her her back she Take has it magic off. looks like she takes it off start digging through it okay you find your spell book my spell book's there yeah but it is not magical there is nothing magical oh, about it the spells are there but they have no magic to them what about the four tomes that they gave me you pull them out they're dead too there's nothing they do not detect magic your true sight's showing not there's nothing there it's just a book 
She'll start going through all of her stuff. Not a single thing is magical unless it is an artifact or a relic. So all exactly magic. Exactly like we were when we were in. When the, you were in the uh, thing, it's the same, but it, it's so. It came out. As well, so it probably sucked a bunch away, and then whatever that happened with these neo. So everybody's kind of doing that, trying to collect themselves. Harris would say out loud, did Dusty just say he was the god of time? Yeah, I heard that. Everybody nods. <laughs> I guess that means the old one's gone. He kind of looks down. Gordon does. Is Tarnak gone? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, I still have magic. They're all gone. All the Neo. Brazil? What? You, you don't, you're not connected. She's on you, she's asleep, but when you do that, you're not connected. Like, there is no connection there. But you didn't get hurt and you didn't feel anything weird happen. I didn't lose level. No, no, whatever levels you had, you still have. It's like the magic just stopped. But it left it in you. Lily will shape change back into her, her normal self okay. with all her normal shit. You do. You um, realize your bags of holding don't work. When you look at them, they're... They're dead. They're dead. Mm. Um, she's she's going to take the hat off for a second. There's weeping in the halls and you can hear crying here and there you see Tuffy start to pull out his scrolls and look at him and he's like these are still working and he starts putting them down these scrolls are working that's good yes at least we have that he kind of looks over at Lily and he's like but they're divine yeah Zira you don't know about your books either, so... Yeah, she'll pull them out and look at them. Her necromancy book. Her when you pull your necromancy book out... The one made of flesh. Um, you don't have the sight that you used to have, so how are you going to tell her? I can't even tell if this is magical. Zero would say that out loud. But will look at it. They're glowing magic. It's glowing magical. It and is. It, it, you see it's a curse. Like, when you look at it, you're like, that motherfucker's cursed. Yeah, it's a curse. <laughs> Definitely of a magical nature. They kind of laughs. Zero, <laughs> put it away. Alex is like, uh, she, she knows. Well, at least that's working. So if anybody wants to become, uh, or stay a necromancer, you can, I wonder if you can get your spells back. Maybe. <clears throat> Lily's gonna take off the hat. Tough you say, I don't think so. You have to pray, right? Yeah. Well, if, some of them. Some of them you have to pray for. So you get Not some of them, though. Go ahead. What were you gonna say? She's gonna try to tell up to your dad. With the hat? No, she took the hat off. It would be the. Um, oh. She takes the hat off and she uses what? The telepathy? Yeah. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure. Motherfucker. I'm pretty sure Hold you up. don't have it. I don't, because. It's not uh, an artifact. Uh, no, it was the beacon. Yeah. Necklace. Nope. <laughs> Those aren't working right now. Okay, hold on, because I do have a couple artifacts. <laughs> Did I I'm not. <laughs> Never mind, I put the hat back on. Okay. And she continues to look through her shit. Right. Everything. Errors would say, I need to go check on something. Any soul storing devices, it, it, with souls or not, unless they're artifact, you know, um, those souls are. No. So the 
the rattle still works, right? Yeah. Okay. Anything that's an artifact. Anything that gives you magic resistance. The sensors? No. I didn't check those no. when we were down there. No, they're not artifacts. Okay. They're dead. I'm so, so sorry. So out of all of that summoning shit that she got... The ring? The rattle's the only thing. Right. The ring of elemental control? That's dead. That's, dead. that's no longer working. The What about the home control rings? Ring of rest from Gorgane? So... No, no. The, the helm control rings. Yeah. Um. What was that for? One was for the beetle. Okay. And then the other one was for a major helm. Okay. That Jama gave her, but it's in with her stuff in her room. All right, they're both working still. Oh wow. Yeah. Surprises Sh you a little bit, you know. She'll try to fill for the beetle again. She hasn't done that in a while. It's not in range. Like, you can't you can't connect with it, but the ring's still active. You're like, huh. Fucking, if I ever get my hand. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Mm. Dead, dead. Stay us. Dead. Space jamming vessel that you had a long time ago. Powerful one. What about the... Made of Vulcanite. The, uh... Gem of Vengeance? From Nira? Yeah. It works? Yeah, it's working. <laughs> yep. Little relic that she tossed your way. Yeah, but she doesn't have the ring to fucking control them anymore. Mm -hmm. No, any any control would have to be... Through... Through actually... Attained. Actual friendship or actual convincing or charisma or... Something you do she's have some out there that are friends, and you got some out there that are you know are friends. friends. So too bad yeah. you're not friends with the powerful druid. Um, the scrolls from the Temple of Nera, and then two scrolls from so, the Den. So the scrolls from the Temple of Nera dead. that are magic user or arcane in nature are all dead. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna. Make and what it. else was your question? She had two seventh level <laughs> scrolls from the den that she never opened. I'm just looking through Dead. everything, so I'm like... Yeah, that sucks, too, by the way. Yeah. All potions are dead. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Amethyst dagger? No. It's alive? It works. <gasps> you realize it's an artifact. You did not know that. Fuck yeah. It doesn't do a whole lot. You know what I mean? But it does. That it does, but it does. She'll, it she will, she'll hold it up and look at, um, Zira. With this dagger. To hold it up and look at Zira and go, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thing has made it through everything. The boomstick wasn't magical. No. So it works. Yeah. The ring's good, the hat's good. Boomstick Gems with the, good. the plasma pistol. Yeah. Wand of Skewering. All the books are dead. The Wand of Skewering that you got from the Lizard King is no longer working. Cuba Force is dead. Cuba uh, Force is dead, yeah. Crown of Orcish Might. That works. <clears throat> Staff of Valk. It's working. So Sorry, guys, they gotta some... go through some equipment and just kind of give themselves an idea. No, it's all good. That's what you guys would be doing, is trying to figure out what oh. works and what doesn't. Eris um, doesn't. None of that stuff has to levitate. Eris doesn't really have anything. She's got two artifacts that I know are good. Oh. She would say out loud, I need to go check on something. Tuffy says, I do too. She would look, Ares would look at Gordon. Have you checked on the kids? Gordon? They were half Neo. Part Neo. They're fine. Okay. I can feel them. Both of them are fine. Okay. So Neo did survive. And he just kind of looks at Ares. No full Neo. There's only one reason I'm alive right now. They kind of wipes his mouth and looks at you and like, why? She'll take that ring of three wishes off her finger. She'll put it back on the necklace. Is it still working? So, 
Yeah, it has all three wishes right now. You, all three? Yeah, you look at it and you realize somewhere in between there and there. She'll put it back on the necklace. Okay. Put it back around her neck. All right. That's the only reason I'm alive. And that was granted by Tarnak, right? And he's gone. Like I said, I, I need to, I need to, there's somewhere I need to go. I'm not leaving the temple, but I need to go. You're not going something. anywhere. Vesos? Yeah, that? he looks right at you. She'll so grab, not going she'll grab his hand. Come with me. <laughs> he kind of looks back, like at Valia and, and at Reva. Where are you guys going? I, I need know. to go to the nest. In Beacon? No. Here. Well, yes and no. It's upstairs. Oh. Oh, okay. The bar, the new, the one that's built just like the other one? She'll smile. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going by yourself. Is there a door up there? A door? Of choices, he says, and looks right at you. What, you didn't think I knew about that? I don't know. What there's that one. gets everybody's attention. Gordon turns and looks at you. He's like, Eris, don't. I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to. Okay. <laughs> Hedda's like, well, we all shouldn't just disperse in different directions, but I want to check on my family. I'll be back. And he turns and runs down the temple hallway. Um, a few moments later, uh, Tessa walks over to you guys and she says, Though our lady is gone, there are others that can take up the mantle. She turns and kind of looks over at Eris and she says, I believe the Lord of Cats would offer you asylum and a way to absorb this energy. If that is something you would want. And she looks right at you. To pick up the spear? That's what he says. Please excuse me. She turns and walks over to the side and kneels down. And starts praying. She would just kind of like touch her chest and stop. Like. He's like. Gordon kind of looks over at Jesus and like. I think that was Ariax's last wish. She just kind of looks at you. Do you have other plans? No. I don't. Time is taken. I can think of no better thing than to be that which you have always been. Of course, the choice is yours. And I would understand if you did not do that. I will be giving up my energy. He turns and looks over at Zira. We only have one choice, he says in Orcish to you. <laughs> Everybody in the room, when that happens, kind of looks at him. You know, people that speak Orcish are like, what the fuck? You're probably thinking the same thing I am. She'd say nods. back to him in Orcus. He nods. We are out in the open right now, and there's no better way to the ship for at least long enough to pray. I would bet you there's probably a shaman there. There's an altar, and he looks at you and nods and turns and starts to walk out. Him. He goes, he looks back at Lily and Hedda and Gorgane and her bunny. He says, We will be back. We just must take care of this. Eris, <coughs> it's been an honor. Thank you for what you have done. We all owe you our lives. You and your people. He turns and walks out with Zira. Would say, uh, you guys want to come?
come with me? I need to make a stop and then... I don't know. Um, yeah, to the nest? Yeah, He's... And I, I, I... I got it. I got you. Come on. He if, starts pulling you forward. She'll walk. If that was Ariax's last wish, who am I to... We don't know that, he says. Bay says it to you. We don't know that. I can get to the happy hunting grounds. Well, I think you should hear, you know, ask him, or at least talk to him, hear what he has to say, but it's such a drastic decision, suddenly. Well, you guys start walking that way to the nest. Valium she would tell him. loop her arm and Rava's arm. Rava will whip him. And follow. Um, yeah. Ares would tell him, I am more vulnerable right now than I've ever been and I'm almost scared to say out loud what just happened to me. But You see Vey kind of reach into a pocket and pull something out and go like that. Take it. You feel a vial in your hand. Should look at it. You see it, Vey. It's the vial with the rainbow colored goo in it. <laughs> you look at it. You, you're pretty She'll sure touch your bag. Touch your bag to see if it's there. It's oh, gone. I fucking took it from me. What? Is that me? Shh, he says. Yes. Me? Yes. What does that even mean? That can be regenerated. And he looks back at you. And then I could absorb myself. Huh? And then I could absorb myself and still have all my memories. I think so. I think you will be the last Neo. Let's get somewhere safe. Let's get to the nest. She'll start walking at a fucking fast pace. <coughs> Velia and Reva, follow. Yeah. You guys make your way up to the nest. And when you walk in the door, it's exactly like it always is. And the rest is sitting over by his pipe. Oh my god! And to his right, you see Clip. Oh my god! Oh my god! She would say. She's looking at the rest. He kind of looks up at you, uh, eyes white. You're back again? I'm back again. Clip's like, hey. You guys see Clip. Vey comes in behind with Reva and Vey. Uh, you guys walk around the bar and over to where the rest is sitting with Clip, and they offer you to sit down. down. Vey sits at the bar where you can still kind of be up but see everything that's going on. Um, you guys sit over by directly by the rest and Eras, or do you sit over on the other side next to Clip? Clip. Okay. Just the next side. Bill, yeah. Belly will go around and sit right next to Clip. Greetings. Greetings. Welcome back. Hmm. <laughs> a look around. Are those instruments still on the walls? Yeah. You look up, you see them. They're... Yeah. And, like, you remember taking them down from the other one. And when you, when you look, you realize... They're the same instruments. Fair mandolin? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. She'll get up. Okay. walk over and she'll pick it up. Okay. She has to get up on the, on the back of the seat in the wall and reach up to get it because it's so high up there. Okay. And it's around on the other side of the bar towards the front of the door. Okay. She'll get up. Okay. Walk over there. You reach up, and as soon as you touch it, you realize it's a good thing you're a bard. Um, that instrument would have fried your ass. Yes. You would be smoking right now. And as you, <clears throat> as you pull it down, it's different. Your your connection with it is more physical than it ever has been. Like, you realize that what you were before kind of absorbed things somewhat with touch, like it it was mutable and you're solid and when you touch it it's almost like the first time you've ever touched a mandolin you're like what the hell 
but you you know how to play it like you could play it but it's it just feels completely different to you that's really sad <laughs> you've got that vial in your hand still yeah your other hand when you pull the mandolin yeah. down okay she'll Would... get down she'll walk back over to where they are okay so. He passes the pipe around, the hookah pipe mm -hmm. around. He doesn't pass it around, he just hands <coughs> you guys uh, things if you want to want any of it. Ellie and, would um, take it. As this is going on. She'll walk back around. Okay. To where they are. Okay. He smiles at you. She would look at me, so where should I even start with this? I don't know. How do I... It would need to... She'll look at This does not sound like a normal conversation. This one sounds important. It is. And seeing that these fate lines are something completely new to me, I'm not quite sure what it is. This is quite an interesting learning process. If that, that is what it's called, is it not? Yes. Experiencing something you do not know. It is a strange feeling. What question do you have? You see Clip go over, like, over at Velia and he's like, You made it out. <laughs> Must have listened to me. <laughs> Smiles. Right, so would look at him and be like, actually, we did the exact opposite of what you said. <laughs> Sit back. Then you died. <laughs> did they die? And he turns to look at the rest who's still looking at, at Eris. Um, Eris would say, uh, he, uh, wait, what did he say to her? Sorry. Multiple characters. <laughs> Goodness. That, what, <laughs> question, what question do you have? Ah. You know, you said that to Vey, and then he... Yeah. It's like he doesn't know what's going to happen for the first time. If there was a piece of the old me that still existed, and it were to be regenerated, would my consciousness and spirit and soul be able to be transferred into that to maintain me being what I was. Of course, dear. Hmm. He turns and kind of looks at the door and then turns and looks at you and then he's like... I suppose there is always a gamble in everything that you do. So I cannot for sure say that it will work. I would normally have some sort of riddle for you in this position, but I do not know the answer. If I were to give you advice, it would be do what your gut tells you to do. your heart, what you want to do. She'll nod her head. So how do we regenerate this? She'll look at Bay. With a spell? Drink okay. it. Drink. He just kind of looks at you like She's a little bit of a horrified look on her face. Like, what? Take the lid off of it. Drink it? Yeah. Okay. This rainbow goo goes down your tongue and down your throat. And you're like, oh, it doesn't taste funny. It just feels weird. And uh, you feel it kind of go into your body and you realize that... Uh, 
it's an organism that absorbs like it, it it's going to start absorbing you it doesn't do it immediately but you think within three days you should have completely regenerated your body um, as a neo She'll hug Vay. He hugs you. She'll he squeeze him you. super tight. Probably not that tight, actually, because she only has a 17 string. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, he hugs you back, and he's like, I'm glad I could help. I told you, Bailey and I both had plans. I'm not sure what her plan was exactly, but I'm glad that she didn't stab me with that unicorn horn. Bailey, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, laugh. Right now, oh, look at her. Wow, Amelia just start laughing. Unicorn horn. Oh. What the fuck are you guys talking about? Don't worry about it, really. Well, now you have to tell me. Shut the fuck up. Tell me not to worry about it. <laughs> Bay starts laughing. <laughs> Is there anything to drink around here? Velia! <laughs> what? What unicorn horn? Is it the unicorn horn? Don't lie to me. I'll be even madder if you lie. Well, I didn't lie. I just didn't. No, I'm into me right now. <laughs> I'm still lying to you right now. And Faye's like, she's gonna tell you now, obviously. Yeah. Uh, the reason I didn't tell you is because of the being. <sighs> oh goodness, she gets really stiff. She's like, oh, that killed me, and then gave it back. She starts looking around the room. You're at the temp, temp you're at the, uh, at the nest inside the temple. You don't see anybody. The rest kind of looks at you. He's like, are you okay? Uh -uh. No. I believe we are safe here. Kind of looks around. Clip's like, uh, I should hope so. Was he Neo? Who? Do you know? What? Was he Neo? I don't want to say his name. Yeah. Eris would say. I want to say his name. He was Neo? I would assume so. Weren't all the gods? No. A lot of them were part dragon. Some of the gods are gone. But not all. And within the next few days and weeks and months to come, there will be more. There will be gone? More gods. That will come. There are spheres open, floating about. Eris would say, speaking of. somebody to go talk to? You say that? Mm -hmm. Well, it was good to see you again. Right? It's good to see you again, too. I'll be back. Smile. He smiles. <laughs> Clips like, toodles. Where are you going? I thought this was where we were going. I'd say we had to leave right this second. I'm just saying. That. Faye's like, no, we should take care of this. You should take care of this. Take care of it? Yeah. Cat Lord wants you to come talk to him. You should take care of it. You see Clip kind of stop and look over at you like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. I need to go talk to him. Oh. I can take you there. He stands up. Can you? Yeah. Nice. I wasn't looking forward to having to go through the astral plane. Huh? Do you look at her like that's what they're going to have to do? Yeah, you just can't really see it. Yeah. I mean, if you can take yourself, it's good. You know where it's at? Well, I would be able to get myself there, but I wouldn't be able to get back. Oh. I would just have to go to the astral, or plane shift to the astral, and then plane shift to the first level of heaven and the happy hunting ground, right? No? Yeah. Yeah. It's that easy, right? Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Why do I feel like Zip, you're bam, not boom. telling me everything? It's, no, that's everything. You just, you, I mean, you know, it helps not to have to travel too far on the astral. Right? I've never been in the astral. Maybe I should take you. <laughs> Is it just you? 
Dave's like, no. Oh, no. no we're, we're all coming. <laughs> he looks back like that. You see Cliff kind of look at him like that and then look back over there. He's like, is that true? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, yeah. we're a group deal. Uh, shit. I will never get another minute ever again in my life. <laughs> She'll say it out loud and kind of giggle. Okay. Fairly so. Cliff. I have a feeling there's some things I don't know, but that's that's usually the case. Well, maybe we'll help you to understand a little bit better. Ariax was our mother. Larvane was our father. We're orphans now. Boy, that's a lot to put on a person. <laughs> you just gotta look all and, three of you? And protecting each yeah. other and Ariax is what we know best. Or Eras. Sorry. Eras. Yeah, I said Ariax, I meant Eras. Those are close, he says. It is. Alright, well. Gather around. <laughs> he walks up. Short elf. We got a picture of him, but, you know, it's all we good. Do. We do. Um, I'm pretty proud of it, too, I gotta say. Yeah, well, we'll throw it back up here after we right. come back from the break. Right. We're going to take oh. a real quick break, <laughs> and we'll be right back. smiles and kind of shrugs your shoulders at Clip I'm like I don't know if it's going to work or not <laughs> yeah and this is Clip right here just to give you an idea of what he looks like goodness he's pretty 
Mm, look at those eyes. Right? Look at those eyes. So, when he pulls this rod out, the rest kind of goes like this and turns quickly and looks over at the door choices. And you guys see it glow. There is a look at it. And it opens. Like from the other side. The key glows on your chest around your neck and you realize it's not inside you because you're not Neo. Right. And it glows. You can see it like a yellow glow come from it. And you see Vala step through in full plate with her shield. And she just turns and looks over at you guys. Quick draw. Okay. (laughs) Well, she quick she quick draws. You are across the bar, so you won't be able to reach her. Well, yeah, no. You just quick draw and pull your weapon. You pull your weapon, and she she doesn't have a weapon out. It's sheathed, and she's got her shield in her hand. She just kind of turns and stops and looks over at you guys, and then you quick draw. She looks at you and then looks back over at at the rest, who kind of just looks at her and smiles. Rava's eyes are locked on Vala. Greetings, Queen. Queen of the North, is it not? And she's like, it is. And then she turns and looks right at Vey and Velia and Rava. I believe my siblings and I would like to have a conversation in peace. It is time you know the truth. She turns and goes to the left around the bar and sits on the opposite side of the bar from you guys, probably 35 feet from Can Eris see in the door where she came from? You look in and you see the grayscape of Dwarkey. The grayscale before the curse, or while the, before the curse was lifted. So that's, that's her what you from see. back then. She doesn't know what happened yet. Interesting. Okay. Um, it, the door's still open, by the way. Come. Talk. In private. And she turns and kind of looks over at the at uh, the rest, and the rest kind of nods at her, and he's like, I will not uh, stay much longer, but I am always here. And he turns and looks at Eris. And there are others that you know from time to time. You are never alone. And he looks at you and you see him kind of fade away. Just like he's not there anymore. Clip's kind of like, where are we going? There is. We'll go like this to him and she would look at me. He looks over at, at her. He's like, I've got to take care of this. You just want me to go? No. He looks over at Billy. He's like, this needs to be done. Tired of her haunting us over our shoulder and not knowing the truth, aren't you? Yes. Then let's beat it out of her if we have to. He says that out loud. She's still just sitting there, you know, just over on the other side of the bar. Shield kind of in front of her, you know. Clip's like, well, if we're going, let's go. I can bring you back. We can get you back. Don't worry about it. He turns and looks at Clip and he's like, I will hold the Cat Lord personally responsible if anything happens to her. Please let him know. You see Clip kind of look at him like, what the fuck? Okay. She'll walk um, over. Yeah. Hug me. She he hugs you. I'll be back. She'll go with Clip. Um. Roll observation. Does she have observation? Yeah. Okay, roll an observation. Yes. She actually made it that time. Oh, he misses you. You feel him slip something in your bag. It is obvious to you. Okay. <clears throat> All right. All right. And. 
I'm not gonna look right this second. Okay. Uh, you see Cliff notice too. Because you notice, you see him notice. Um, and it's in an area where you guys really aren't. It's on her other side, so. Okay. Um, just so you don't get a roll veil yet. Okay. Or a rave on. She'll walk up to Cliff. All right. He holds out his hand and invokes the rod, and you plane shift. When they leave, um, it's just you guys and Bala. And Vey just turns and sh- sh- pulls his sword. And like like he's going after her and she doesn't move. You do that, Rava? Yeah, like, she's hey, like, she just kind of looks at you. Let's just talk. Let's hear her out. What do you want? What do you have to tell us that we don't already know? She says, I don't know how many memories you have or how many father has taken away from you. But you must know that when we were born, Larvain was not our father. And she looks over at you. Or at least the visage that he placed upon others in society was not that of Larvain. He's had a troubled history in the past, and now he is gone. Since I was a small child, he made me endure that powerful being's presence. Our grandfather, the one that wishes to speak to you, I have come to take you to him. For many years I have tried to tell you that I am your sister without telling you, hoping your memories would come back. I have never once tried to kill any of you. The soul eaters would have brought you to me. You do not understand. I have been protecting you since you were cast from Elysium. And now your grandfather wants to speak to you. Who is our grandfather? One that will not take no for an answer. I am compelled to bring you. The Ancient One. The old one. He is your grandfather. What? Which makes many others like Lamast and Sabian directly related to you. Long ago, when Ariax was betrayed by a being that looked a lot like Larvain, children were born. He wishes to give you the vampiric nation on a platter. He wants you to come now and discuss terms. He wants you to rule the vampires. He turns and looks over at Rayla and Bay, and then he looks over at you and he's like, of course you are with them, but would be much stronger if you were one of them. You will rule the nation with purity. That is what he says. Come with me and take your positions of power. Take your family name back. Embrace the darkness that is your lineage, or ignore it. But one day you will have to come to terms with it, either by my hand or his. We do not ask you to do that which you do not want to. We simply ask you to look at what you might want and not know. Never before has the nation been ruled by something like you. He will go back to sleep and you will rule in his stead.
the darkness that is undead, and vampirism will fall to another god. He will simply sleep in the black ice and stay separated for the remaining time that he swore he would be allowed to sleep, but was woken way too early because of what you did. He sees it as a prophetic sign that you will rule the nation of vampires, brother and sister. There will be no council. It will be you. He offers this to you, for you to come now, so that he may go back to rest, and you may take your birthright. I, as your sister, of course, am your humble servant. I know that we have not gotten along up to this point to your current memories and knowledge, but I assure you, I have your best interest in mind. Whether it is the compulsion or not, it does not matter. This world has changed. You would take what I am bringing you now as a great boon from the very gods themselves. You have always been lucky. Everyone on our family is lucky. Now that you know the truth of it and know that I could not speak it or tell you until I was commanded to do so, that you may come with me. The I am not the Queen of the North. It is all yours. Thalia says out loud. I wish I could tell if you were telling me the truth. Do you wish to take my life right now? It is yours. That should be truth enough. Vago, so if I kill you right now, if I walk up and chop your head off, you're not going to do anything about it. And she's like, no. And you see her kind of hold her head down. Vay just looks at you guys like... She would shake her head. Ray would shake her head no. To killing her. <clears throat> that was what he would filter out. He goes, no. You should look at Vay. Imagine it. For just a second. If we had control over all the vampires on show. Just imagine for a moment. vampire? He looks at her. She nods. For many years. Brother. Many years. Of course she is. She tried to turn in the name of the ancient one. Give us a moment. <laughs> he says to her. And he kind of turns his back and looks at the two of you. And she, he's like, so... You can see when he says that that he starts thinking different. He kind of looks down for a minute and he's like, Someone told me we could end the war yeah. in seconds. Yeah. I would do it, right? Right. Yeah. She's looking at me and she. <laughs> She'll look over at Yeah, him. she's looking right, right at, his, at his head, you know. She'll like try to stifle a smile. I think we should do it. I, I think we too. should go. I do too. Okay. Let's do it. He turns and faces her. He's like, we have agreed together as a family to go. And she goes, then you have voted with me. And she sees her stand up, walk over to where the door of choices is, and just kind of look at you guys. And she steps through. She's still got her sword in one hand. Okay. She's going to put her hand back on the horn okay. in her pocket. You see Vey pull his sword out. Like, he pulls it out. Mm. She's got her shield. She's not okay. pulling her sword out. You guys go through the door of choices. And we're going to go back to the temple. I'm going to stop right there for you guys. And we're going to go back to the temple. Lily? Yes. 
sitting on the floor to get through your shit. Um, <laughs> she's gonna take the hat back off. Um, by the way, uh, Zigzag went with you, Eris. Oh. He didn't go. He didn't go with you when you went through the portal. By the way, the last episode. But he reunited with you here at the temple and went with you. So he, he went with her to yeah to this tapping hunting grounds. Absolutely, he did. He went with All you. All right. All right. So uh, yeah. So you're in here with all of these yahoos, which isn't many. Yeah. You and Gorgane and Alex. And uh, he leaves. <laughs> he turns, walks away as you're looking at the books, and leaves. Gorgine's kind of over the top again. He's like, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I have an idea. I don't know if this will work or not, but I want to try something. I haven't felt safe enough to take this hat off in so long that I haven't had the chance to try this yet. So, I shall take the hat off. Hey, my hammer still works. Nice. <laughs> nice. He smiles. Um, she is going to try and pull something out of the hat. Okay. It's the aspect she hasn't used from it yet. Yeah. Um, she's actually going to pull the rattle out, put the hat between her legs, pull the rattle out, and shake it, because that will take it up to 63%. Okay. Okay. It's like... Seem kind of step back a little bit and like, what the fuck? And try to pull out a ring of telepathy. Okay. 60. 60. So you see a ring of telepathy come out, and then immediately it just kind of goes, <laughs> becomes the blue light. And it's solid in your hand. It's like energy. It looks like pure arcane energy. True sight. You look at it. That's exactly what it is. Is this pure arcane energy? Hmm. Tried to love see my dad. Dad. You feel it go through. But he can't answer me. You don't hear a reply. I'm alive. You feel it going through whatever this is, this stone, this whatever it is, this pure arcanite stone, whatever. Sorry, I'm trying not to freak out as a player. Oh my God. <laughs> um, I'm safe. We're in the space jammer that was Arax's temple. I'm gonna stay here. I hope that you and mom and brother are okay. I love you. She'll look up at Gorgane. It's still there. What's that? It's pure arcane magic. I was trying for a telepathy ring. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. Where are you, where are you gonna put it? <laughs> That's what he says. Barbarian. Where are you gonna put it? <laughs> there, just hold down to. It's got substance. Like it, you can know. feel it. It's, like it's a stone. Like it's stone. Yeah. But it's. But it's just energy. Put it between her butt. Okay, she goes, and he goes, hmm, good place. <laughs> Safe. Wow, that's really cool. Safe. Yeah, that's cool, and it just kind of goes dim when you put it down, you know. <laughs> um, um, oh, I can't with that. That's just. Well, so that means that, yes. Maybe I can rebuild some of our magic through this hat. So let me see if I can do this. Is that what that means? 
Maybe she'll start shaking again. No, that's 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 Gordain's like that what that means? And she'll reach in and try and pull out the um An exact replica of her family spellbook. The one that her dad gave her. Okay. Fifty-nine. You do. <laughs> Comes out, but you look at it and it's not magical. You're like, no. Oh. It's just an exact replica. It looks just like ah. it. There's just no magic on it. On it. Okay. Well, fuck. But it comes out of the hat. So it's just like your other one. Yeah, but it's not. And neither one seemed to be magical. Magical, okay. Um, you still have the arcane stone, stone in your hand. These are my boobs. Oh, in your, yeah, you put it in your boobs. Yeah. That's right. So she'll put the hat back on, and she'll put all the shit back in the bag. So I assume you have a bra or some kind of halter top on that'll well, keep she's it in there? Well, she's got a corset. corset, okay. Oh. All right. I just want to make sure, I just want to make sure it's not... Doesn't end up at her belly button or something, you know. I don't want you to drop it. I'm sorry. I can't believe I just. <laughs> we'll see how bad it is. If it's OnlyFans bad, then we'll cut it. But if it's not, we're just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna leave it. Mm, I'm sure they Some of them will have enjoyed that probably, but yeah. yeah. Um, you forget what I was saying, so she'll. Put everything back in her backpack, um, and then shrink it with the staff. Okay. Put it in her bag. All right. Um, yeah, the combination of this that artifact staff and the and the artifact hat seems to be is working. Pretty still working good, pretty good. Thankfully. It's awesome. He's um, just kind of looking at you like, uh, wow. Yeah. So. I thought that magic was gone. Well. So, like, all of the spells that I had in memory are gone. My books are not magical anymore. Like, my rings, my scrolls, my potions, those things are all not magical. They're all just normal. But the things that I have that are artifacts, like the hat and the staff and the dragonfly ring and the rattle work. So some things work. Hmm. Well, I kind of feel hungry. So you do. Hungry. You do too. You're like, yeah, I'm hungry. We should get something to eat. We should. Let's go to the cafeteria. Okay. We'll get some stuff going that way. I'm walk with them. We're gonna switch back over to the ship with Zira and Gordon. Oh goodness! Oh goodness! Oh goodness! Oh goodness! I'm nervous for that. You guys come on board, and Gordon makes an announcement through the ship for everyone to join um, down in the hold at the Shagrus altar. Okay. The orcish deity of the night. Thieves and secrets and other things. He, he orders the whole ship to meet there and all the orcs meet down in the hold down there. She would ask, are you going to make an announcement? When we get there. Okay. I think you're thinking along the same lines I am. What other choice do we have? Exactly. What other choice do we have? I mean, um, for the Orcish people, we should be we should worship an Orcish god. I agree. I should not and fight it. They're not. Shagrus is not aligned with our enemies either. Gramush, Gramush, the other deity. The leader of the Pantheon is, and he probably will be quite upset that I'm giving this energy to his competitor, so to say. So you guys gather together, all the orcs come, and he makes an announcement to stop worshipping him, that all of the energy and power and worship and prayer should go to Shagrus, Lord of the Night, Shadow and Secrets. And um, they do so. Gordon prays. Do you pray? I do. 
for necromacy, right? Yep. Rope still dice for me. Oh, eight. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, no. 80. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was my dyslexia. I apologize. It's all good. You sure? <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait. Yeah, okay. I'm so sorry. My fucking dyslexia so, kicked in hard there. Damn dyslexia can kick in too, so. You feel a presence come over the ship. It's noticeable and it gets darker. Like the air itself gets darker. The shadows grow out. From behind the altar you see the shadows kind of move a little bit. And you see these red beady eyes come from behind it. And you see an orc that's jet black in skin with red beady eyes, glowing eyes, and his whole body's made of like a shadow substance. And in orc, she says, granted, granted, we shall work together. You see Gordon's energy coming off of his body is kind of like a, an orangish color and it just kind of comes off of him with magic and goes to this being and into him and Gordon's like, oh. And as it absorbs it, it starts to speak in Orcish to everyone in the room. You will follow, you will follow my shadow and the queen of orcs and we will overcome the hardships that we have endured. Our enemies will be crushed before us. We will even delve deep into the hells where Mammon's due will come true. Follow this path and you will have a place in the afterlife. Come with Shagruth. Come with Queen Zira. Come with the Shadow. Come together, all my people. Go into the stars, go into the prime, go into the astral and ethereal, go into the inviso plane, go all around and tell all our kind that there is a way to survive. Come. And you see him just kind of fade into a mist. You feel this fucking dark pack come on come on you hard it goes deep into your blood like harder than harder before. than than before <laughs> you have such a desire for human flesh now it's it's overwhelming like you feel like you know you want like eat, i want to eat a human that you want to eat a human you 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 feel it and you would probably pull out jerky and just start eating you know right away yeah okay and you feel Gordon's Gordon's energy change as well. So much for his uh, going to neutrality. Mm. And nice um, try. <laughs> as this is happening, he fades away. The room stays dark. It doesn't get lighter, and there's like kind of a lull over the room. And everybody's just kind of. Gordon kind of looks at you and he's like, are you okay? I'm better than okay. He smiles. She's he smiling. says, I have spells. Again. About that point, you see a cut on his face where he was cut before from the dark pack mm -hmm. with the dark rangers. You see it open, flay open. <laughs> he goes like that. He kind of looks around. See it heal up. Okay. We're going to stop right there on those two. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. We're going to go back to Eras. Okay. All right. Okay. Goodness. You are alone with a Clip, and he gets you through the astral plane relatively quickly from one into another by using portals that... He transports two. Okay. It's not on this map. No, it is. Where? Over there. Over there. Okay. Over that way. Yeah. yeah. There it is. There it is. There it is. Um, and I feel like I've been here before.
when you appear in the happy hunting grounds yeah um so it's not that time of year it's <laughs> it is as green as can be there we go right there oh goodness you appear just south of this little hut okay And there's a giant oak tree next to you that when you guys appear next to it, Clip kind of pats it and smiles and turns and starts to walk towards the hut. When he does that, it moves. And then you kind of like, and you look up and it's probably 80 feet tall and it looks down at you. You know, you can see it's got these eyes that are way up there. <laughs> That's amazing. She's making just a mouth open, just like... He just keeps walking. I am Burkhoff. But you can call me Burk. Hello, Burk. You kind of looking at him and then you hear uh, come on like that and you kind of look back and you see Cliff okay, show off. <laughs> change into a cheetah you see his body just transform and he changes into a cheetah and runs to the front of this hut and reaches up and you see this rope dangling down and he grabs it and pulls it and a little door opens at the bottom of this hut that he sh goes on real quick and it closes behind him really and you come up to it. Is the door small enough that she couldn't get through it as herself right now? She could, but she'd have to crawl. But it's closed. It's not opened right, right. now. But yeah, no, you could get through it. You could squeeze yourself through it. But she'd have to open it. I guess she'll use her, her druidic animal shape. To okay. To cat. Um, like you did? So, you attempt to connect into the druidic energy and druidic power. Can't. And it doesn't work. What? There's no connection. It it's it's just not there. What the fuck? That's weird. She'll pull it. Door opens She'll down get below. Down. So you need to keep a hold of the rope to keep it open? Yeah. Till you get in. So you crawl you crawl down and as soon as you come to the door, a scent hits you of cat. Strong. You're like, whoa. Goodness. You hear kind of a grumble inside just a little bit. And then you see this uh, cheetah kind of come up and look at you. And he's like, oh, maybe not now. And he kind of comes out and past you. Do you back up? Back up. And let it Let it go? Yeah. All right, it closes. He kind of runs back out and switches what? back into himself. Fuck, 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 fuck. What's going on? Oh, no, he's, 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 uh, there's, there's, yeah, there, yeah, not yet, he says, <laughs> he comes walking back over where Why? the tree is. Come on, come on, wait, hurry. Wait, You don't want to get caught up here, come she'll, on. She'll, she'll go with him. I have a question. Hmm? Why? Oh, this welcome place... to the Happy Hunting Grounds, he says. Yeah, is, isn't this place, like, there's nature everywhere. Is yeah. it not druidic? Yeah. I can't connect with my druidic abilities. What's going on? I don't know, that's weird. Like, I can't. Why hey, Burke. I can't. Why can't she connect to the druidic power? He goes, oh, I don't know. Like, it's just not there. Come sit. You see a branch come and hit the, tap the ground. He goes, maybe we can find out. She'll go sit. Cliff kind of sits down next to her. He's like, fuck, he told me to bring you. I don't know what the problem is. He's like, pissed off or something. Oh. He kind of turns and looks like that. You see a little black cat come running from the building towards you. Chill up. <coughs> Comes all the way up to where you and Clip are and then transforms into a drow female. And uh, with evil eyes, she just kind of looks at you like like your food She'll almost. She'll smile at her real big. Um, hi. Hi. Yeah, you're just as sweet and peachy as they say. You see her hand you a huge book. It comes out of a bag of holding. You see it. And it's... And the bag of holding works. 
this book is about this big, about this thick, and she hands you some uh, quill. He goes, that that's uh, he said that comes with it. Take it. The book itself has leather bindings um, and all kinds of different intricate filigree all over it with a metal plate on the front and the back and uh yeah she hands it to you just sit it down on the ground does he not want to see me anymore oh no no i'm sure he does uh, but uh there's a lot going on i was just told to give you the book and tell you that you uh you're more than welcome to write the prophecy for cat kind um uh or or he said you could try to take over uh something to do with love Take over love or something. I don't know what he meant, but uh, he told me to give you that message. Um, he said if you wait here, he'll eventually be done with what he's doing. Okay. All right, later. Nice to meet you. Oh, we've met before. She keeps walking. Cliff kind of looks over at her. You don't recognize her. That's Trill, he says. Roll intelligence. Wait. Roll intelligence Wait. Check. Yeah. You remember? I do. Okay. She was at my show. Was she? With some little Cambian kid. Oh. <laughs> yeah. At the set. That's Black Cat. She's the cat looks familiar. Yeah, he sees through her eyes, hears through her ears, probably other things. But anyway. Um, Looks like you're covered. He kind of stands up. He's like, looks like you're good, right? I can go now, probably. Take care of what I, whatever, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got you here. You can get back, right? Since I got you here, you can get back? I think so. Yeah. Um, you took me through all those portals. Yeah, just so. go to the same way, the opposite way. It'll get you there. Can you write it down for me? No. <laughs> I can't remember. You've been there before. You can go there. Probably not. Okay, I can try. Think about it. Think about where you were. Think about what it looked like. You can go okay. There. You can play shift there. You're good. All right, well, toodles. Toodles. He turns and starts walking away and pulls out the rod and you see him <laughs> disappear. Leave me here. <laughs> what the fuck? I just got ditched. I just got ditched. After leaving your friends. Fucking bullshit. Yeah. I didn't have a choice. What was I going to do? No, I'm just saying. Dude, Bay's going to end up going to find the clip. You feel safe where you're at. Okay. Eris, you feel really safe. It's calm. Um, you can feel the breeze blowing and you're looking at the book and the quill and um, you kind of hear something move next to you and you kind of look over and you see a rabbit right there. Hi. Some grass. Hello. She <laughs> would jump. How are you? Beautiful day. Oh my God. Takes a hop. <laughs> goes into the forest. You're like. <laughs> and you start hearing somebody sing above you. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. You know, look up and you see this bird, this little songbird, and he's talking in common. It's a beauty singing. It's a beautiful day. Is he in key? Huh? Is he in key? Yeah, he's in key. Just sing along with him. Okay. <laughs> he looks down at you and sings with you. Start hearing other birds or beings you're not sure sing in the forest. Nice. The song that you're singing, it kind of carries in this area. You can stop right there. Okay, thank you. I need a minute to think about that. Lily, you get something to eat with Gordon. Gorgain. Or Gorgain, and the priests are all there, and and uh, they're talking about the spells and what to do and about religion and what's going to happen. <clears throat> they still serve you food. Like, what are we going to do when we run out of food? They start talking about that kind of stuff. And uh, Hedda will come in. He says, ah, the family's fine, love. How are you? Is everything all right? Uh, he leans over and gets some bread. Everything good? Gorgine's like, yeah, yeah. She's still got some magic and my hammer's working. He's like, oh. Yeah. I 
I still don't have access to any of my books. Or being able to communicate. Oh, yeah. And I pulled this out of the hat. She'll pull it back out again and hold it up. Look at it. What's that, love? The light? I was attempting to get a ring of telepathy. This is what came out. And I was able to telepathy my dad with it, but if all his magic's gone, obviously he can't yeah. respond or whatever. About that point in your head, you hear, we are fine, dear. Your mother's voice. Mom. You connect with this? Yeah. Your father said that you let, let him know you were okay. So much has changed that it would seem that your friends were successful, or at least somewhat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we are in Mirabilia, love. We are. The town is uh, interesting. We are at what we call the Academy now. Mm -hmm. Your father and I have decided that others should be trained to protect themselves against these creatures of the night. We have not started a war with them, but we are protecting all that we can. Father's quite upset about some of the things that took place. He says his place is within the laboratory, that he will be doing nothing but research to try to figure out what has happened to the magics. I know you're aware. Yeah. How are you contacting me? So I tried to pull Arena Telepathy out of this artifact hat that I have. Yes. And instead I pulled out the stone and it's it's not a stone, but it is. But it's like just pure arcane energy. Now I'm just holding it in my hand. You should come to the academy and speak with your father, dear. I believe this will be of some importance okay. to discovering what is what is taking place. Okay. Um, do you have means of transport? I can only plane shift right now. I don't know how safe that is, given this current state of... So you're at the temple. Why don't you ask around and see if anyone has a means of transport uh, to come back to Mirabilia? Okay. And then we can go from there. At least we have oh, contact with one another now. Actually, Mom, there's, a, there's an open gate, unless that disappeared too. There was a gate from the citadel where Myra died. Yes. Into the temple. I had created a gate. Into what temple, dear? The one you're at? Yeah. Well, the citadel is not here. Where is it? Oh, I do not know. It's not on the cap in Mirabili any longer. It's just gone. It's gone, yes. To reach in her bag and see if the two cards are still there. They are. Are they magical? Yeah. That'd be a, a better Yeah. Hand. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, with your sight from the hat, yeah, they're magical. Yeah. Still work. Hmm. Wow. She says uh, it was as if it was there and then gone. And honestly, <laughs> that's not the only thing that changed. All the cities, uh, 1000 A's, the, the advertisements, uh, the magics, the signs, all of that is dead and gone. Yeah. Along with others, other magical means. <coughs> None of your father's books or scrolls are magical. Mine either. Only a few artifacts that I had gained are and still working. None of the priestly types have spells either, unless it is in the form of an item or a scroll. The magics, the very magics that are on the troops' weapons and armor are no longer there. Much has changed. Much has changed. These people are in need, dear. There are so many vampires. Uh, yes. Let me talk to Tuffy. Very well. 
Um, I'll get back with you in a minute. That sounds good, dear. She'll put it back in her corset. And she'll turn to Gorgane. Um, I need to go to my parents in Mirabilia. I need to try and help my dad figure out where the magic is gone and how to get it back. Very well. Hedda goes, well, we'll go with you then, love. Okay. How are we getting there? Um, well, I need to find Tuffy. First, I need to go to my quarters and get my things. And okay. then I need to find Tuffy. All right. I'll go look for Tuffy. Okay. I'll have him meet Sanctuary. Okay. Or, okay. Or the entryway. As you guys are doing that, you look over and you see Tessa sitting there at the table next to you guys, kind of with her head down and she's eating. Hey. Hey. Is there anything I can do to help you? <laughs> you know, we're all, we're all in a way, I'm sure. Um, I just don't know what to do. You can come with us if you want. Come with you. I have to go to the academy where my dad is and try and help him figure out where all the magic went and how to get it back. Okay. Better than sitting around doing nothing. How are we getting there? She stands up. Um, we're going to meet Tuffy in just a minute. I got to okay. go grab some stuff out of my quarters. All right. I can help you carry things if you need. Whatever. She kind of get, kind of walks. You can tell she's kind of not sure what to do. And you kind of look around, you know, like she's usually a shining, you know, hope. Beacon, yeah. And you kind of look around and you notice that all the priests are the same way, that some of them are, like, they're just all crushed. Like, you look, the morale is so low. It's ridiculous. Goodness. People eating, some people just, you know, not talking. Other people in groups talking quickly, like, you know, kind of panicky to each other. And things of that nature. Yeah. Dang it. We'll go. Where do you go? To my room. Okay. All right, you get to your room. You start to get all the things together out of your room. She'll help you, and she says to you, she says, I don't know what the temple's going to do. Luckily, the space jammers are still working. Which is odd. That's wonderful. Actually, I have a helm that's still working and a ring, a uh, ring that goes with it. And then why my... did those survive and not other things? That's strange. I don't know. That's so strange. Maybe they were not of this world. I don't really know. That's a guess. I don't know. I don't. They're created here through scrolls and through magics. There's a process. It's. I mean, I've never done it, but I, I know that you could have a scroll to create them, to put magic into them. Yeah. Um. She'll shrink everything put it in the fucking thing and she shrink starts it. talking to you as you start shrinking stuff and putting it away and going through your stuff she says I've uh, I've never not been a paladin since the first oath that I took this is the first time I'm not sure what to do with or well, like I don't even I don't even know the goddess Valk is still here I can't take revenge or, or hunting over love and beauty. I, I, I've known nothing but this. I, I don't know what to do. So surely there's got to be somebody. Somebody will take that sphere. We know that's how that works. I'm surprised no one in Volskar has done anything. Maybe. I don't know. It's strange. How long will it take? Have the gods forsaken us? How long will it take for them to come back? Or are they ever coming back? Or, you know. I don't know. I 
don't know either. She's talking about that as you're doing all your stuff, and we're going to go back to Reva, Velia, Vey. Oh, boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <clears throat> when you guys step through uh, the portal, your senses completely change because all around you is the smell of undead. It just hits you solid and hard in the face. The room that you come into, however, is about 60 foot by 30 foot with curtains at one end, covering off what looked like a diocese that goes up to a throne, but there's, there's just a curtain across it. You can't see behind it. The whole room smells like undeath. She goes to a knee, and you, you guys are standing there behind her. You see the curtain kind of shimmer a little. been it eons since last we met. You were but too young to remember. I would speak to you in person, but my very visage would cause you to run in panic and fear. The smell itself can do so. And at that point, you feel an energy and the scent raises up about 50% what it was of death. As you're looking over at the curtain, you can see what looks like something walking back and forth. There's a shadow that kind of goes at the bottom of the curtain. Your sister has told you that nothing but incompetence has ruled the Vampiric Nation since I slept. I did not get my full rest. I care not about the council or any of the vampires that are presently in charge. You will do what you want and see fit to do what you can to raise the power of our empire until I awake in 9,000 years. You will do this, children, and when I awake, this empire will be something to be proud of. Oh, everything will die. I have spoken. Be the Sith that you were born to be. Follow your bloodline. Make your grandfather proud. Now go. I give unto you this power. See Vala stand up, turn, and start to walk. Follow her. Turn around. Vay stops for a second and kind of looks at the curtain. Ray, right, stop. Turn. He steps forward towards the curtain and you hear a laugh. Okay. <laughs> he turns back and follows you, and uh, the laugh continues by. You guys go to the other side of the room, and there's there's a doorway there, and it's all it's all rock, cold rock, um, and you go down this hallway, and um, Vala 
when you guys get to the end of this hallway, it turns to the right and to the left. She turns to the right, takes a couple steps and stops and then leans up against the wall as you guys come around the corner. Finally, I am freed from not speaking to you. Finally, I am free to be your sister again. I would say that I am sorry for what has taken place, but it is what it is. So, <laughs> she turns the stairs walk. Are we really all together again? Vase, like it would seem so. I don't have all my memories. She says, we are in your city, the city of Mirabilia. She's still walking down the hallway. She comes to a staircase that goes up, spirals up. And as you guys climb the staircase, it comes to a, an opening where there's a roof. She goes through a door and comes out. There's a roof, like a battlement. And um, the structure that you guys are in is much larger than the rest of the city and it's like a blackish colored castle or keep made of some kind of blackish like stone and it stands over the top of Mirabilia like as far as the eye can see you notice as you're looking that it's actually floating where the citadel was floating and as you look at it you realize this could be the citadel Sure. Um, and you're looking around and you see uh, a, uh, what looks like a bird that just flies and everything is overcast, it's dark, but you see a bird that flies and it hits the side of the wall next to the castle that you guys are standing on and just falls down. Yeah. Faye goes, did you see that? She says, yes, it is invisible. No one sees us. Oh. Mm. The city of Mirabilia. And she just kind of looks over it, and you guys can see it. It's changed. Um, the areas where a lot of the magic was that was keeping it lit up and things like that are no, no longer lit, like the whole city being lit up. There's just certain areas that have torches or lanterns that light it up other areas it's kind of dark and it's daytime like I said but it's overcast and real bad and you can see clouds up above you and no storms but it's dark um, unnaturally the clouds are just kind of above the city just sitting there and um, that's where we're going to stop this evening what <laughs> Rava sorry Belia Vey, you're standing looking over Mirabilia and you've just been given the power over all the vampires and the Queen of the North has just handed you rulership of the North. And I'm just a measly little human. And um, Erez is sitting in the happy hunting grounds right outside the Cat Lord's little shack with the prophecy book of the cat kind. Um, Lily is getting ready to head to try to figure out a way to get to her parents and back to Mirabilia and see what's going on there, which her mother has told her they basically started something called the Academy, which helps protect against vampires. Am I missing anything? Zira. Zira is just dedicated as a necromancer. To Shagrus. To Shagrus. Along with... Gord and the rest Gord. of the people. And that's where we'll stop and come back. You realize the world is much different. It's a whole new world now. Completely yes. different than what it was. Crazy. Yeah. You guys good? Friggin' awesome. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for coming. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. Um, come back with us next week. And uh, really enjoying, uh, enjoying this campaign. We'll see you then.
Oh,